Matika. My name is Wycliffe Matika. I'm a trained natural resource scientist. I'm the African program manager. Uh, my core mandate is looking at the growth, development, and the effective implementation of programs uh, in Africa and more so particularly also in Kenya. My name is Masi Kimani. I'm the Kenya program manager. My work uh, as a program manager is to work with the communities as a community liaison, uh, creating relationships so that we understand each other and they understand the goals of uh, the goals and the vision of uh, International Tree Foundation. Uh, my name is Korir K. Moses. I'm the regional project officer working with Inter International Tree Foundation. Uh, my role in ITF is to ensure that uh, we promote uh, capacity building, working together with the community-based organization and CFS to ensure that uh, we produce uh, vigorous and healthy tree seedlings to be planted in the sites that have been allocated to them. This is a very special role because uh, we know that uh, a forest starts from a tree nursery. International Tree Foundation uh, works with the communities. We are a community-led organization. By being community-led means that proposal is uh, developed by the communities themselves so that they own the project. Generally, as International Tree Foundation, we are trying to ensure that we involve all the community members living around the forest in, in, in protecting, conserving, and restoring back the forests that are, have been uh, destroyed uh, in the earlier years. This is very important because uh, this actually uh, trends back to the community and they benefit either directly or indirectly by conserv conserving the forest and ensuring that uh, they work within the forest for their own benefit and for the benefit of uh, the entire community and the, and the entire country at large. ITF uh, supports the communities to develop seedlings. We train them on the tree planting, the correct ways of doing the tree planting, pruning and spot weeding. And uh, from there, the communities then plant the seedlings in the forest and some in the farmlands. They get to benefit from the proceeds of the fruits and uh, they also sell the seedlings. We have had testimonials of uh, young men who bought bicycles, of mothers who've been able to feed their children from the proceeds, of fathers who've been able to re-roof their houses from what they get from the projects that we work with, and that uh, positively impacts the community at large. ITF philosophy is quite unique um, because the mobilization was on cultural knowledge traditional and indigenous knowledge and uh, it was around uh, celebrating the trees and celebrating nature and that tree planting was a good thing that communities could be engaged in to transform the landscapes. Yeah. I am very proud to be associated with an organization that, that, is, that, that, that is that old. I can equate it to being with my grandfather who is now turning 101. So he's the same age with ITF, and I can imagine the wisdom of the ITF founders. I can equate it to the wisdom I, I see with my grandfather. And uh, that explains why ITF has been successful, because it has started by wise men. And uh, we can only imagine how many trees they've planted, billions and billions of trees. It is an honor to work with the International Tree Foundation. And uh, I am humbled and honored to be working for an old organization because that stands for stability, stands for a clear vision and a clear mission. We are going to leave a legacy. The small efforts that we make, every small effort counts. And every effort we make will create a legacy to another 100 years. I've never worked for an organization <laughs> that is uh, as old as ITF. Uh, but uh, I think with, with such a maturation, it implies stability, it implies impact, and also it, it implies um, the impetus in the work that we do. And therefore working for such an organization is also watering the legacy. I'm reflecting like watering on the legacy of the founders, uh, particularly of ITF, which roads are in Africa and in Kenya, people who truly believed that uh, communities can drive reforestation but also through community-based tree planting, we are able to achieve multiple goals in terms of income, food security, water security, and also environmental protection. 
I would like to take this opportunity to actually congratulate and to appreciate the role of International Tree Foundation for clocking 100 years. It is not a joke to be in the field of growing tree, planting trees for the last 100 years. And I wish to take this opportunity to thank them and to give them a applause. It is a good job. I know I'll not be living to celebrate this for the next 100 years, but I know the generation of my generation and the following generation will live to celebrate 100 years. We will not be 100 uh, years from now, so let us celebrate now that we, <laughs> we are here and blessed to celebrate uh, 100 years. May ITF live long and continue doing the best to the community and the nation at large. Hoye ITF.